Hello all, we're going to go for the mouse again. Is it going to be too bright? I sort of see him there when I I break off my little bit, but he's pink. Let's see how we can get him there, yeah. Mouse is pink, he's got a, uh, you can see him better there. He's got a red, and you know what, maybe if I, might make me too dark, but at least you'll be able to see the mouse better. Da -da -da. Uh, anyway. So our mouse, red tail, yellow tail, yeah. Uh, we're going to look to model this guy uh, full through uh, with some subdivisions um, and a UV map uh, and a little bit of sculpting. Uh, so let's start. We're going to start with a primitive again. Uh, I'm going to start with a primitive. Oh, I need a mesh. And key. I'm going to start with a primitive cylinder with uh, strange settings. And by strange, I mean, um, well, I'll show you. It's position should be 0, 0, 0. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, it's up axis should be Y, I think. Um, the radius will be, and radius, it's going to be one half of that. We're going to put it at, um, we're going to put it at one centimeter, ah, got the caps on, one centimeter on the X and on the Y. Uh, we're going to put it, uh, I'm going to say that it's, um, the X, which is this way, and the Y. We're going to put the Y at two centimeters. And we're going to put the Z is going to be at four centimeters. Uh, and I like five sides. You know what? I'm going to put six sides. And let's just hit, I'll show you. We will hit apply, and it will give us that. Okay. Now, my mouse is sort of diamond-shaped, as you can see, so that's going to work for me. Um, I should be able to use symmetry at this point. Uh, let me generally scale him, so I'll put him so he's closer to where I want him to be. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. Uh, let me try some symmetry now. Symmetry across my x-axis, which is red, if that works, and I hit my 2 key, I should be able to select edges on both sides. Good. And I should be able to translate them and make his hips. I hope. Something like that, yeah. Yes. Uh, that's even starting to look more like my mouse shape, which I like. I have to play around with the light over there. Uh, good, 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 good. I'm liking that. Uh, we got his hips like that, his tail is ready, his nose is sort of ready. Uh, while I'm here, I may as well do a little bit here too. We're still in symmetry mode, you'll notice, so if I move this, I can kind of get that to be more mouse-shaped. Uh, I might tuck his tail back a little bit. Let's turn off symmetry for that. Two key will get these guys in the back. And let's just push his tail in a little bit. Uh, and I know I'm going to be subdividing him. Um, go to polygon mode on the top. We will scale it. Here. Ah. Where I clicked it went to a different place. I think I have a weird action center automatic. Uh, automatic action center should let me click between them. Should, but actually we'll just do it. Oh my god. What in the name of... I have no idea what that's doing. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh. Okay, let's try that again. We'll select this polygon. Make sure action center is automatic. With the R key, and you should let me scale that freaking polygon. And you're letting me click on it. There we go. Not exactly what I want, but something like that. And like that. So it's a little bit more mouse shaped. Uh, and we'll push up the bottom.
3 key to select, W key. And it bothers me it's in a weird mode. Shouldn't be, but either way, we'll, we'll see where we're going from here. Um, let's try the subdivision now, Shift and Tab, to get it more towards the mouse shape we want. Um, that's looking okay. The whole uh, object, 5 key will be a little bit thicker. Um, Man, I dislike these are going to the wrong place. Good. Uh, I'm going to go under Surface here, and I'm going to change the subdivision level down here in the Catmull Clark so that, you see I'm getting some sharp edges there? I don't want those. Uh, I'll get rid of them by putting in a 4 here and a 4 here. Oh, actually in the wrong place. I want them down here. 4 and 4. Okay. Now we're getting our mouse shape going on, which I like. Uh, we probably have to tilt the back a little bit. Um, I want to split the top too. Uh, we have this polygon up top here, three key, we'll select it. Um, I'd like to split it from here to here. Uh, what's my easiest way of doing that? Let's take a look at the tools we got handy. Uh, here are polygon tools. Um, I might just knife my way across it. Knife, 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 knife. Slice is what I mean. Slice tool, like that. Okay, and actually, let me put that up there. And that up there. Good. And actually, you'll see the tool that this gives me here. What it cuts across. Uh, uh, um, there are settings in the slice tool you can see uh, where it starts, where it ends. Um, I think that might be okay. It gives me something to work with, which is the important part. Uh, it might mess up my symmetry because I don't think this is totally even, but let me see if I can yeah, bounce that up to there so that they overlap on that one um, polygon. Uh, I can see my starts. Uh, let's just make them the same. Uh, X and Z. Hmm. Uh, we'll make them both start at 33.9. Uh, well, that's at 33.9. Let's make this negative 33.9, just because I think that'll make me even in that axis. Good. Uh, and we'll make the height the same, too. Uh, we'll make it 20 on each. Uh, 20 mm and 20 mm. Okay, good. That should give me a totally even polygon to work with. Okay, we'll drop that so we have that now, which is good. Uh, I can select this edge, too, and then I can push this edge backwards, which will let me do more with the mouse uh, head, which is what I'm going to push out there and start to even see the shape of a mouse head there. As it's starting to come out, uh, we'll need a couple edges, though that's not too tricky to do. Um, we'll need ears. I think I can come up with a place for ears. Um, let me uh, do the nose first. Q, we'll go to uh, vertex mode, select this. This is eventually going to become the nose. Man, I wish those were... Uh, Showing up in the right place. Uh, yeah, that should be straight up like that. I think that's good. Q, we'll select this. Uh, we'll bevel it. Maybe I want to, I'm not certain. I may want to chamfer it. Let me see the difference. Control C out of that. We'll select it again. Right mouse. Chamfer, 
and uh, what happens? Can I go to no segments? It's got to be one segment. Actually, chamfer will work. Let me see if it gives us any other settings for us. Uh, man, that bothers me. Okay. I'm going to hit OK on that. Um, and we'll ah, scale this polygon a little smaller. Good. We'll push it down a bit. Good. Move it out a little bit. Yeah. Good. That's getting more. Ah. That's getting more mouse looking as we go. Uh, I'm going to take this polygon. I'm going to bevel it, which should give me sort of an instant nose. Push that up a little bit, uh, like that. We'll rotate it back a little bit, like that. We'll push the whole thing backwards a bit, like that. Good. Let's scale it. Uh, here's where I need a local selection. So I want to scale on its axis like that. Yeah, that's getting much more mouse nose esque. Um, let me select these four polys. Say they make the nose. Set a hardness level of them. Shift W. Ah. Is that too much? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks strange. We don't want to do that. Let me select the edges. The edges might be happier that way. Two, three. Uh, shift W. Yeah, that's looking strange. We'll worry about it later. Should I worry about it later? Should I worry about it now? I'm going to select this edge and this edge. And this edge and this edge. And let's scale that selection to see if we can push those closer together. Good. And let's translate them forward. Okay, uh, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try scaling them to make them more even. Uh, okay, and actually we'll wind that out a little bit. Okay, and it's starting to look more like the nose I want to see. Um, I think I'll draw in the eyes later. Um, let me put a couple, a couple bands in it, um, and why don't we do the tail while we're here? Uh, uh, I'll do that. Uh, the tail's gonna be back here. I think we'll sprout them from here. Um, let me put this back to automatic. Right mouse, bevel. That's what his tail's going to pop out of. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do an extrude instead. There we go. And if I hit Shift and click again, it should give me another one. And if I hit Shift and click again, it should give me that command one more time. So we now have three of them making the tail. That's good. Uh, our tail bends a little bit. We'll do that with... Uh, well, actually, we already have that loop selected. Yeah, we'll leave that... Oh, you know what? I have something else selected there. See that? Let's see if it'll get the whole loop. Good. Now I'll rotate it. So I'll go like that. Select this loop. We'll translate this loop like that. 
actually that's looking that's looking sort of like what we have going on there anyway. Um, I'm fairly happy with that. I may not mess with that anymore. Let's back out a little bit on our mouse. Um, I have to, these will be the haunches, that'll be okay. Uh, I probably want to duplicate these lines. Let's see if we can do it with um, symmetry. We'll get both sides, which it did. Good. Uh, and let's go to edge and see if we have a good command that'll do what we want here. Uh, edge. Uh, oh, you know what, actually? Maybe I should do some polygon mode. Uh, if I go to add loop, it's a polygonal tool. And really, I want to add it here, like that, which is good. That's just what I want to do. Good. And we'll put in one more, drop it, pick it again. We'll add loop again. Good. Okay. Drop my symmetry. Uh, I want to make a couple edges hard. Boom. Oh, actually, let's see if symmetry will work with us because we want to do it on both sides. One, two, four, five. Good. Good. Shift and W. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's doing sort of what I want to do. Uh, I'll even scale that selection. And it appears like those things there. Uh, I should be able to. We'll stay in symmetry mode. Let me see if I bevel these, if I can make them uh, protrude outward. Uh, bevel. Yes, I can. And I should be able to... I don't want to make the edges that sharp. Um, which I can actually... What I'll do, let's go back to edge selection. Uh, here we'll select the loop. Of course, it doesn't get my whole loop. Let's see if it got it on both sides. It did. Now, Shift and W. Yes. That's what I want that to be like. It looks, I mean, if you could see it closely there, looks like the little edges there. Um, I can even uh, take my polygons here, and I will translate them downward like this. Good. Make a little droopier. Push them out a little bit like that. Uh, it's starting to look like my mouse. Uh, I probably should give him his eyes. His nose is there. His eyes should be here. Um, we'll try something. Uh, we'll try to bevel this polygon. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Let's not group them. Okay, that's a little tiny bit better, but not really what I want. But let's see if we can... Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. I, I shouldn't be that surprised. Um, I'm just sort of asking for something maybe a little... A little more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, I should be able to inset... Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, no, those are horrible weird snail eyes. Let's let's not do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'm going to take these polygons up, oh, three mode, there and there. I'm going to split them into quads because uh, quads can work better. I want to see if it makes a difference. If I click this, what happens? Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I can turn those into ears, which is good. Uh, I still need to get some eyes here. Um, but this is square now. If I bevel it now, let me see what it does. I think it's better. And I think we can shrink it way down. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can turn those into eyes. I'll show you how. We'll first move them where we want them to be. Probably like there. Maybe a little bit more forward. Let's scale them. Ooh, control Z. Give me a local scale, will you? 
local. Good. Uh, okay, yeah, that that I'll be able to turn this into an eye. I'm pretty certain. That won't make a difference. Let's translate it to where roughly the eye should be. I'll lift them up a little bit like that. Okay. Now, let's see what happens when we make it hard. Try that again on this side. Let's try that again with symmetry off. Oh my god. That's probably not what we want. Um, I'm going to try something. Go back to automatic. Go back to symmetry. I'm going to convert the selection to points. Uh, we have a tool that will let me place points in a circle, which can be quite useful. Um, I think it's under deform. Yeah, radial. If I click it and then click, it should give me a circle, except it's really not doing that. Let's control Z out of that mess. Let me try one of them. Just one at a time. Three. Turn off symmetry. Symmetry can sometimes burn you. Look, I think it was burning me there. Um, let me try radial again now. Normally it shows me where that radius is. Oh. I wonder if this is... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hit Shift and A for a sec. Um, actually, that's looking vaguely mouseish, I mean, especially if I uh, lift this up like that. It starts to become his ears. Uh, I probably have to tilt those shoulders back a little bit um, to we'll go here and here, and let's scale that so we get them close together, which pulls his shoulders in a bit. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Actually, I might have to move that whole uh, sort of side bar thing up. Though, let me cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, I'd still like to turn these into eyes. Because he needs eyes, obviously. Though I could also paint the eyes, which is worth thinking about. Yeah, maybe I'll paint the eyes. Um, let's do some texturing on this now, you know. Um, we're going to go to polygon mode. We're going to select the polygon and hit the right bracket, select all of them, hit the M key, and we're going to call this mouse. And we know he's pink, so let's make him pink and hit OK and hit OK. Um, and I want to check something to make sure that I'm not going to, uh, my render won't mess up here. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I'm not using too many cores. 14, that sounds good. And let's go over to the render window here. Actually, I'm sorry, over here. Shift and A to zoom in on our mouse here. Good. Um, and uh, we will we'll get him ready to paint. Uh, let's make sure he has a good UV map. Remember, that's important. I go to UVs. Uh, the default map is a little messy, which isn't surprising. Um, I'm going to do a geometry and mesh cleanup. Because the mesh cleanup is always a good thing to do. See, it fixed some stuff there. Um, oh, and it gave him a big honking hole in his back. Let's go fix the big honking hole in the back. Uh, model over here. I'm going to hit Shift Tab so we can see what's going on there. Um, man, that's some ugliness. Uh, I'm suspecting I have a flipped polygon, which means um, if I look at this polygon and turn around, do I see a polygon beneath him? And I don't. And what that means is I don't have a polygon there. Hit the 2 key. Hit this. Ah. Well, that's problematic. That's what's called a manifold polygon. But let me hit a P here to fill that.
Okay. That is now filled, as we can see. Uh, three. Yeah. It says it has two polygons down here. I'm going to hit Shift and A and rotate around. If I flip them, what happens? Oh, they both go. They both go nowhere good. Um, this might be a mess. This actually, you know, I'm always saying you should start over if things aren't um, aren't looking good. Um, this I should probably start over because there's so many problems here at this point. Um, this is my own fault, of course, for for kind of modeling a little crazy there. Uh, like I can see where things are twisted and messed up and. Ugh. It's hard to remember this was a cylinder originally. Uh, I'm going to try, this is going to be a last ditch effort. If I hit shift and tab, he still looks like that, although his uh, butt is a little bit, you know, not, not looking great there. Uh, I'm going to try to triangulate him. Uh, that will sometimes fix these problems. I go into polygon mode, and uh, let's make sure we're in polygon mode, and triple, and this will turn everything into triangles. Uh, and makes it so maybe I can fix what's going on here. Uh, shift and A. Yeah, see? Those polygons are not supposed to be on the inside of that. Okay, it's not supposed to be pink there. Those are all flipped. Okay, well, we filled them. Um, I just don't like this whole whatever's happening here. Uh, it makes me just want to repair it. Um, I'm doing something I've told you not to do, which is I'm, I'm going to try to repair something that's broken. Um, it's a bad idea. I would get much further, much faster if I just started over. I tell you that all the time. I know it's the case. Yet every now and again, you're like, you know, I just have something. I think it's valuable here, and I, I think I can, I think I can get it back to where it should be. And so, I think it's worth the trouble to do this whole thing. I'm going to tell you, it really probably isn't. But maybe, and let's uh, triangulate that too. Maybe it's worth saving, uh, at least for the texturing part of this. Let's head back over to UV land. Um, now we have a solid model again. Um, let's recast. We're in texture. We're going to project Atlas 2. Uh, I'll play around with my number of segments. We'll start low. We'll start with the iterations low, too. Iterations doesn't seem to affect it much anymore. I think it's probably new math. Um, but let's, let's push this around until we get something... Oh, I just saw a pretty good one. I scroll through them too quick. Uh, let's go lower and we'll start building it up. That's not awful. And it's funny, I'm at 30, which is where I was before. Uh, I think it was more like 28, though. See, if I leave it like this, the only problem is I might paint somewhere and that paint will show up somewhere else. It's not that big a deal, frankly. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I use that expression too much. Uh, but um, the better I can get this, The less overlapping I get in this, the better off I'll be. Um, and it makes me wonder if it's worth playing with these a little bit more. I want to try this T button. If I click it, it should just let me pull stuff. Yeah. And likewise here. This is a weird one. I probably shouldn't have messed with that one, but try that T button again. 
Okay, and I'm fixed. I'll come back to that big ugly tangle. Although, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but there seem to be several big ugly tangles here. Uh, my whole point, of course, was to not get big ugly tangles, but these tangles seemed approachable. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, that's, that's sort of okay. I'm hitting uh, my one key, which is vertex mode, and I'm just selecting and hitting W to kind of push these around. Hopefully that's my big weird tangle, right? This one I think is easy, I think. Yeah. This one might be easy too, but then again, it might not be. Yeah. Oh, ah, ah. Let's see where that is. It's on his nose. That's a really important place for it to look right. Uh, let me see where my points are here. There's some points down here. Let's try that. Okay, let's try pushing it up. Aha, uh -huh. I see it sort of untangled. There we go. Uh, this other tangle I'll deal with like this. I'm just going to move it. Oh, and it's now safe. See that? Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that tear, and I'm going to go with this here and push that out like that. And then I think we really just have the big tangle left. Uh, there's this nonsense. Try a two key. We'll select this edge. Let's see where it is by looking over here. Oh yeah, see that's somewhere weird. I, I, I frankly... That's, that's, that's one of my weird eye mess-ups. Uh, if anything, I should probably just go in and fix that. Uh, and by fix that, I hope I'm not going to regret this. I guess we always hope we're not going to regret things, huh? If we didn't, we'd probably do a lot of things we shouldn't. Ooh, but that's much better. Um, the eyes are messed up here. Uh, let's just quickly, and I really shouldn't be messing with the modeling now, but where I want the eyes, I have a lot of weird nonsense going on here. Um, I don't think symmetry is going to work at all anymore. And uh, I'm wrong. Look at that. Huh. It's sort of hard to imagine, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out uh, all this weirdness, and it's quite a lot of weirdness, let's be honest here. Uh, that too. I'm going to delete it. Leave a big hole. Good. Hopefully on both sides. Darn, not on both sides, not on both sides, but we'll we'll get it. Get those three. And this one. Delete that. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. I sort of like this. Uh, because now I have a hole that looks like it's fillable. Two key, edge, give me the loop. Hit the P key. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's way cleaner. That's just astronomically cleaner than what I had before. Um, so much so, let's go back. You know what I should do? I should do a thing. What's the thing? You know what the thing is. I should save. Put this much time and work into it. Uh, we will save as. We're going to call this new mouse one. Let's do the texturing and let's get through some of the other stuff here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, I look at it and think I want to fix the bottom, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go back to my UV maps, make sure they're good. <laughs> That's my fault. That's my fault. That's on me. Uh, see that big new polygon I put in there? <laughs> That's my fault. Let's lift that poly. You know what we'll do? We'll scale that polygon first of all. Oh my god. 
we will we'll recast. It means I have to redo a lot of the work, which is why I shouldn't have done it this way, but you know what? This is how you learn these things. Wow, that's actually not bad. If I'm right, that only has five areas that are weird. Let's see if we can fix them. My T. Good. My T again. Good. I'm just holding down the T key. And if I hold down the T key, it lets me um, just click on something and move it. Like that. I don't have to... Ah, I don't have to move any other stuff around. I'm going to hold down T again. Ah, I'm going to hold down T again. Click on... Hold down T again. I'm going to... Someday you're going to let me grab this. I'm going to do it that way. If T didn't work, I'll do this instead. Okay. Over here, I think this is just a matter of moving something the right way. There's still something, you know, and I bet there's two points that are very closely overlapped here. Uh, shift and W to see what's going on here. Uh, that's one edge. That feels like it's overlapping itself. Hmm. You know what? It's fine. It is fine. Good. Okay. Uh, tool mode here. As two edges selected, what happens when I move them? Select one edge. There we go. Never seen a making of reel that shows someone doing UVing. There's probably, I mean, well, we know the reason for that. It's tedious, difficult work, but it has to be done. I mean, it doesn't have to be done, but everything will work better if it is. Look, that's even off the map there. Good. And also, it's sort of interesting having your mind try to work this two-dimensional to three-dimensional three edges selected. Uh, one edge. Translation. Okay. I think that's good. That is good. Now I go to paint. And we're going to get the yellow. And we're going to get the red on the tail now. Okay, go to my paintbrush now. Uh, we want that foreground color. We'll start with the yellow. We want a really bright yellow. Good. And if I go into my... Um, ah, close that. I go into my shading over here. Uh, we should be in mouse. And when I click on this, it should give me a new image map. Like that, diff color five. That's it right there. Uh, you know what? Let's call this tail. 
tail color, so we'll know what it is. And if we paint with it, we should be spurts in yellow on that tail. Uh, I can go a little bit further, remember, because uh, the red will overlap it, which is fine. Good. Good. Okay. Let's give ourselves some red. That's a good red. Make it small. Eh, you know, we'll make it bigger. And we'll get some red on that tail. And now he has that little tiny sliver up the back of red. Oh, that, that right there, that was some error. Um, but it's one I'm just going to draw over. Oh, control Z. It means, it means there's something wrong with my uh, UV map. I don't really feel like refining it too much. Let me see if I can make this a little fuzzier here. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Okay. Now, let's head back over here to render land. Uh, we don't like the gray background. I don't like the gray background. Let's head over down to environments. And we'll give them an environmental material. We will give him from four color gradient to physically based daylight. That looks better. <clears throat> We've got to make his tail transparent now. So we'll make another one of these. I'm going to duplicate it. And we're going to turn that into, and I have it here under recent, but let's also look under um, basic channels. Uh, transparent amount now makes that tail transparent, which is good. Um, we are not bending light properly, so let's go to the material. Material transparency. Uh, we need to get a refractive index. We'll say his tail is made out of chromium oxide. Very, very fancy tail for a mouse like this. We can see the yellow coming through there and some of the red coming through there, which is good. Um, I want it to have some roughness because that's too sharp. So watch when I turn this up a little bit. Yeah, it breaks up what's inside there. That's good. Uh, let's go back to the basic surface over here, which is our mouse surface. He's too shiny. Um, we'll make him rougher. Yeah, that's better. Uh, do we want a more specular? Specular will, will mean that he ref Oh, that does look a little bit better. Okay. That's starting to look like my mouse. Um, the pink is a little too pink. I want something more like that. Okay. He's starting to look like the mouse we want. Now, let's put him in an environment so we can sell him and we'll call the project done. Uh, I'm going to file Save As. We'll save this as New Mouse 2 because we know we did a lot more stuff to it, which is good. Um, Let's go into our render preset browser. Uh, we'll find, we're gonna go up to our cloud assets uh, and I'm gonna go into my meshes. We'll go into interior and let's find something to put them on. Uh, oh, an appliance, what do we have for appliances? Toilet would be odd. A sink would be kind of interesting. Uh, I don't think it's a shaded sink, which is sort of a problem. I prefer to have it shaded. Uh, what's that? A wine fridge. Put it on top of a wine fridge. Find out if we can put them on top of a wine fridge. Double click. Pulls down from the World Wide Webs. Slaps a wine fridge in there. You're going to see it's going to be pretty big, but it should be to scale. Ah. Okay, yeah, that, that looks like a wine fridge to me. 
Uh, we'll get our mouse up there. We should rename them while we're here, by the way, because we know this is mouse. Call them gummy mouse, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to go to the 3D view here so that I can lift them up. Uh, you'll see if we look down here. Here's our boy. We'll pull him up. Oh, you know what? Uh, five key. Now we'll move him up. So we can find him. There he is. Here, here, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Ooh, it's reflective too, I like that. Push him down a little bit like that, a little bit like that, okay. Uh, you know what, why don't we duplicate them? We'll put a couple more in there. Uh, duplicate. And then there's one right on top of him here. We'll rotate this one. So we have a meeting of the mice if we want. Good. Uh, and why don't we duplicate both of them? Select that and that. Uh, actually, we'll just do it from here. That's easier. And uh, I'll control C and control V. And I shouldn't have symmetry on. That's a bad idea. Um, right mouse click, uh, duplicate. And let's move these guys like that. Oh, see, they're up in the air. I have to put those other guys down. Let's put them down. Uh, I'm probably better off working here, by the way, uh, because I can see what I'm doing better. Hit the five key, select this guy, and select just this guy. And just that guy. Yep, we're selecting too many mice. We want just these two guys. We're going to push them down to earth. Oh, I have extras. That's probably why. I must have six or some odd mice in here. That's good. The more mice, the merrier. Now let's get these other two floating mice. Oh, I think these were duplicated wrong, but that's... I should probably save it. Uh, my other one's disappeared. Could be like a mice meeting of the mice minds of some sort. Yeah, actually, let's select just one of them. Try to rotate him a little bit differently. Good, 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 good. This is this is starting to to sell, right? Uh, I'm going to give an environment in here, my render preset browser. Uh, let's go find our environments. Uh, we'll go up, 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 up until we get to um, our cloud assets, and we'll go to environments. Uh, and what do we have indoor? We have kitchen. Kitchen sort of a given here. Although, you know what? Let's try Chapel Breezeway just to see what it looks like. I'll double click it. They could be church mice. I don't know. <sighs> Download it. Hit OK. Oh, yeah, that looks much better, right? Now, you see it's taking longer to render, which is good. It should. It's almost there. And that's finished. Um, we can even look at that a little bigger if you zoom in a little bit. Oh, I like that shot. That's a good gummy mouse shot, isn't it? We didn't even do the eyes yet. Um, let's do them quick. Man, am I going to regret this? You know why I'm going to regret this? Because I, I should only do them to the one mouse. Um, so you know what? Let's not do the eyes now. Let's call that let's call that a good shot, okay? I would save this. Let's save this as final file. Save as. We're going to call this as new mouse. To final. 
Uh, and I might want to save this image. Um, save image. This is what I would upload to impress the professor. Um, I'm going to pick a JPEG. I'm going to call this Final Mouse. Look, I already have Final Mouses. Okay. Now to see that, let me see where I save that. Uh, go under this again. Save image. Uh, documents. Let's take a look at it quick, um, just so you can see what we put so much time into. Documents. Uh, it should be at the top here. There it is. There's my final mouse. That's we could say. Look, look, we we photo reeled a mouse. <laughs> we photo reeled this guy. Oh, look, my whole body's disappearing here. But this guy over here and those guys down there. And actually, if anything, those guys look a lot more real than this guy, and really, actually, more real than this guy at this point. Um, that's kind of a push through on this whole project. Okay, folks.